Hey everybody, welcome back to this episode of Coffee Analytics. I want to talk about VLOOKUPs really quick. What they are, what they're used for, and how to use them. Now this video is for complete beginners, so if you're an Excel expert, this video is not for you. But for the rest of us, let's learn how to do VLOOKUPs. So what is a VLOOKUP anyways? A VLOOKUP, put simply, is a vertical lookup. That's what the V stands for. And you use it when you need to find things in a table or a range by row. And I'll show you exactly what I mean in just a second. But I want to point out that Microsoft has come out with some new functionality like XLOOKUP that supersedes VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP is kind of the, the good old standby. It might be old, but don't discount the value of VLOOKUP. Um, it's, it can be your best friend in a crunch. So let's take a look at how VLOOKUP works. On the screen in front of you, you see a fake generated data set. These are not real people, so I'm not giving out anyone's personally identifiable information. In this tab, we have name and account number and a phone and email and address. On the second tab here, what I'm calling accounts receivable, we have name, account number, and the amount that they owe. So what if we wanted to bring in the amount that each person owes into this first sheet right here. Now we can do a lookup by account number, right? We can simply do a control F and look each person up individually. This person owes $17 and three cents and I can go back and I can paste that right here in this field, which is great if you have two or three people that you need to look up. But in this case, there's thousands right? That copy and paste just is not going to do it. That's not going to have enough analytical firepower that we need here. So what we're going to use is a VLOOKUP. So when we type equals VLOOKUP, Microsoft helpfully tells us that there are four arguments that we need to enter here. The lookup value, the table array, the column index number, and then the range lookup. And the range lookup, this fourth parameter there, uh, that, that fourth argument, uh, looks a little different than the rest in the sense that it has the square brackets around it. That is just Microsoft's way of telling you that that parameter is optional. The other three are required. This fourth one, uh, range lookup, is not strictly speaking required. I always put it in there because I think it's just the best practice to do so. Our first value here, our lookup value, is going to be our account number. That is the value that we would like to look up uh, against the other table. So B2, comma, then I'm going to go over to my other tab here. And my next value is my table array. My table array in this case is going to be columns B and C, my account number and account owed. And then my third argument will be the column index number. In this case, it is the number, the integer 2, because my table array is two columns wide, uh, account number and amount owed. So that's I want to return the second column there. And finally, the range lookup you have two options, true or false. True is an approximate match and false is an exact match. In my experience, I have never in my entire life used true. I've never even heard of anyone that does use true. I'd love to hear if you have a use case for true in the comments below. I always use false. And that returns our amount owed. Now, we don't have to type this formula over and over again. We can simply double click on this bottom square here, and that will fill out the entire column for us. It's as simple as that. Uh, that is how you use VLOOKUP. Uh, I hope you've learned something. Do me a favor, like this video and subscribe to this channel. That would really help me out. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Have a great day.